Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can access to the logged in user in our controllers. This tutorial is part of my Spring Security tutorials. And in my previous tutorials, I have shown how we can introduce Spring Security, how we can use password encryption, and how we can use the role-based authentication. Now we are going to see the functionality of accessing the logged in user in our controllers. So far, I've used this repository in GitHub. And in this repository, I have the tags. The first one was the bcrypt. And on top of that one, we have this security basics. Then we did the tutorial about the role-based security. And now we are going to do this part, logged in user. So again, I'm going to clone this repository and I will be starting to my implementation from this role-based security tag. So here, cloning it opening the console, running git clone here, and opening this window in Visual Studio Code. Now let's switch to the branch of role-based security, and let's check the project. Here we have the pomxml. The Spring version is 2.4, uh, Java version is 11, we have the data JPA, Spring Security, web dependencies, and we have the DevTools. We have H2 database, Lombok, and the test dependencies. And if we check our packages here, we have the, the user package. In this user package, we have this user entity, we have corresponding controller, we have this user endpoint, we are adding this user to database, but before that we are updating that user's password by using the password encoder, the bcrypt, and the password encoder is right here, this bcrypt password encoder. And also we have this security configuration right here, we defined some basic end endpoints. And also we have this uh, REST controller right here in our main class. We have this secured endpoint and we have this secured dash admin endpoint and we basically check the user roles before processing the request. So only the admin user can access this part and this is uh, accessed by the users having the proper credentials and this is the public accessible endpoint. And also we have the H2 database and here is the configuration. It is, uh, it is created as a file here and in the current directory and the file will be this temp. This is the user for the database and this is the Hibernate uh, configuration. The database tables will be updated based on our entities uh, when the application is started. Currently, I don't have the database. So uh, let's uh, start with this part. Let's start our application. So here we can see the database is created right here and let's create users here in postman we are going to send post request to this endpoint and our entity is like this let's check it one more time from our code there is there is username email and the password fields and also we have this role so we are just sending those uh, those values in this json so this is for the user and the user is saved. Let's add admin. So changing this username to admin, email like this, and the role is like this, sending it. So we have two users in our database. And let's check the, the secured endpoints here. We have this secured endpoint for our uh, system users and the admin. So if I try to go to this endpoint, to this secured endpoint like this, I, I'm not sending any authentication header. So we are receiving this 401. Or if I go to this secure admin, again, receiving 401. And if I add the authentication of the basic authentication, having the, let's say this is, uh, this is admin and the password is this password. 
so we are able to get this response only admin can see this this part and if we try to access that with this user we are receiving this 403 forbidden so that was the uh, role based uh, access in these endpoints now in these uh, controller methods we want to access the logged in user information and we have a couple of ways to do that let's go over them one by one first let's send our request to this secured and let's do the implementation at that endpoint so we are receiving this this is secured endpoint and we are sending our request with this user in the controller method here we can get the logged in information like this one of the options is accessing to the user via the security context holder and from this object we can get the context and in this context we can get the authentication object and this authentication object has the get name field so this is returning the logged in username so let's do it like this let's cut this and paste here so we will be just returning back to user logged in username saved it application is restarted going back to postman now sending request to secured with this user and here i am receiving the user so this is the logged in username and if i try to access to this endpoint with this admin user here i am receiving the admin user uh, alternative to this one we can get the authentication object directly uh, as a method parameter for this method we can ask spring to inject uh, that object to our method right here so we can say we want this authentication and the authentication is this one uh, this spring framework security core authentication and let's say this is the authentication and here we can just replace this part with this authentication and that's it let's save this one so the application is restarted let's try it one more time and here we are receiving the admin and if we go to user we are receiving the user uh, that's how we can get logged in username in our method so if we want to do anything here we can use this information and do uh, whatever needs to be done other than the name we have the field let's get that one like this get principal so we have this object and let's see what is this object all about i'm changing this return type to object so this is going to be uh, we don't have a specific type for this uh, principal object let's see what is the content of this principal and let's try it here so we are receiving this response we we are sending the request with the user and we have this username the password and we have these fields and these fields are actually let's find it here uh, when we are authenticating user we are trying to find the user from this this method user details service we are telling it to like right here we are telling spring authentication manager that we are using this user out service and whenever you need to find the user call my method call this services this method load by load user by username so we are loading the user from database and here we are returning a user details because this method is looking for a user details uh, as a return value so we are returning a new user details here and here we have the password of the user username of the user we have this collection having this role of the user and if we check right here here we have the authority and we also have the other fields these boolean fields account non-expired account non-locked credential non-expired and is enabled and here we have the corresponding uh, the fields in this json so basically in this 
principal object we have the object we are creating right here so we can extend this functionality we can create our own implementation for this user details and we can put more information to it so with this way we would be receiving much more information uh, with this principal object so we can go like this let's create a new object here let's say this is app user and this is going to be implementing the implements user details and this user details has the the methods of these are the methods these are basically the methods we have right here we were implementing the same things right here so just copying and pasting these from here to to here so we have the app user we have the implementations right here we were using this in db in db is this user so let's pass this user to this app user so let's have a constructor right here app user and it will take our user object and let's have this user as a field here so this user this user is going to be the user we are receiving in the constructor and let's import this user it is our projects user and here we can change this part we can get the role from this user and we can do the same thing here this user get password this user get username so saving this one and here in the out service now we can return new app user this is the new implementation for the user details and we can just pass the in db to it let's save this now let's try it with postman once again so if i try to access to this endpoint with this request with this user I'm still receiving the same response nothing is broken so this is the app user now the principal is basically the app user object and we can confirm it by we can add new fields to it let's say we want this whole user object to be part of this this payload so like here we want to have the user in the response so let's let's add setter and getter for this one for adding the getter and setters for the user i'm going to use the data annotation of the lombok so since this object has the getter and setter for this user uh, when we are returning this object the jackson library which is converting the the object to json it's going to be adding that user field to the responses too so saving this one and let's try it again sending the request and here we have the user field in this response and if we go with the admin and here is the admin object so we can see their id uh, ids are changed their emails and we can see whole user object in this response so with this way we are able to uh, access to the user object we are looking for by this uh, this principal object we are getting uh, from the authentication we can do one more thing here instead of getting this this app user object like this we can ask spring to inject this app user right here instead of this authentication and for that we will do one more thing here let's create a new file this is going to be an annotation let's call this one as logged in user 
So this is going to be an annotation. So that's how we are defining annotations. And we will have uh, three annotations uh, to be set here. First one is the target. And we are going to use this annotation in the, the parameters, the method parameters. And the second one is the retention. And this is going to be used in retention policy runtime. And the, the, the last one, which is the, the most important one for our use case, it is coming from Spring Authentication Principle. And we are importing this one, Core Annotation Principle. Now we can use this annotation, this logged in user annotation here, right here. Let's remove the authentication and we will be using logged in user and we are expecting to receive an instance of app user here, app user. And let's just return app user back. So with this way, we are casting the, the, the principle directly to our app user instance like this. So saving all these changes and trying with the postman one more time. And here it is still working. Let's try with the user. So nothing is changed, nothing, nothing is broken. And if you want to make sure this is working, you can just change this part. And let's say, let's just return the user object back. So let's save this one too. And here, sending the request. Now we are just re receiving the user part of this app user. And if you go with the admin, we are receiving the admin user. So these are the options of having the logged in user in our controller. So thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorials.